welcome to another episode of our Antiguan kitchen so we've heard many of your requests and finally finally we're doing pepper pot right I'm going to teach you how to make a pepper pot mom has an amazing amazing recipe that incorporates tons of vegetables and definitely we're going to make it a little more traditional for you so mom is going to tell us a little bit about the process of making pepper pot well pepper pot can be simple and it can be difficult um if you um you want it to be basically because um, normally when I'm making my pepper pot, I will do a vegetarian pepper pot. Now, mm -hmm. you may say vegetarian pepper pot is already vegetables. It, I mean without meat. What I will use is um, lentil um, peas um, as my protein. Mm -hmm. And I would not put in any, um, any add anything to it like, you know, normally Antigua, in Antigua, either, it's either fungi or dumpling. That would be my pepper pot yeah. now because pepper pot was requested i wanted to give you an idea how um we traditionally make pepper pot or mm -hmm. pepper pot is made traditionally and so i am going to give you all that you know that you know pepper pot supposed to have in which um you will see in the video yes so you i've actually had the vegetarian one to have made it and it's very good still it tastes very you'd be surprised you think you get all the flavor from the meat but it's still very flavorful and pepper pot is actually we should mention is actually our national dish well it's pepper pot and fungi yeah. um is our national dish so there was a lot of interest from you guys about making pepper pot everybody wants to know how to make pepper pot it seems like it's a lot a lot goes into the process but it's actually easier than you think yes and you also uh, when making pepper pot use as much vegetable as you you wish um especially you know some of the vegetables might not be in season and mm -hmm. that's what we did we're going to use what we have what we could be what we're able to get yeah um, we actually went to the market this morning just to get the vegetables so mm -hmm. we're using our local all local vegetables, vegetables for this pepper pot dish. yeah and we use spinach from our own backyard so yes. it's super super local and um, organic so yes. it's, it's this is a very healthy dish for you so if you're interested in watching well learning how to make antiguan style pepper pot keep on watching come along with us okay so in this pot what we have here is um some pickle meat and we are going to i already scald them off meaning i put them in some um to boil for basically like um two minutes and then i locked it off because i'm i'm trying to take out all the sauce from out of the pickle meat then i'm um what i'm doing now is i'm going to pressurize them so in this pot what we have here is um pig mouth pig tail riblets that's pork and uh, yeah i think that's it yeah the pig tail the pig mouth and the riblets i'm going to um pressure them and when they are almost done i'm going to put in some smoked turkey and some back part of um the chicken that we call um well it's a back and neck but this is just back so the back of the ch the, the chicken and we're going to allow the pressure cooker to cook them as tender as um if possibly can all right so so i um cut up all the vegetables that's going to be um be in the pepper pot and so we have here some okra uh okra okra however you pronounce them some eggplants or choba as we call them here in Antigua some um, some um, table squash and we also have here some papaya what I did I, I peel them and slice them and I freeze them so whenever I need them I can just pick them up but these are papayas and these are pumpkin and they're all cut up and what we have in this bowl we have some spinach and some um, Chinese cabbage and we also have some running spinach you know all these are locally grown um, pepper pot can be made with whatever you want to put in it um, green, any green vegetables that you want want to put in it we normally have like um, a long squash if they were in season but this is what I got um, at the market and what I can find in my refrigerator 
and so we are going to put this in a in in, in a pot um the pot has in about quarter water because of the size of the pot that i have and then i'm going to apply all the seasoning one time so the vegetable is going to be cooked with the seasoning that's how i cook my pepper pot other people may have a different way in which they cook their pepper pot but this is how i cook my pepper pot and so we're going to put all these things now in the the pot i already put the pot on and i pour the water in it and you don't really have to wait until it's boiled it is your choice it can you know just put everything in and just cover it up and allow it to boil what i also put in my pepper pot because um we we don't really eat meat and those sort of things i normally put in split um not split beans and uh, lentil peas now this is i'm not doing it like that but i'm still going to um put in uh the, the the beans the the lentil peas in the pepper pot and um, it, it really gives the pepper pot a different flavor so I'm going to put that into the pot right now so this is the lentil peas I have washed them and soaked them in advance so they'll be easily they'll be you know easily cooked and then I'm going to put in the hard vegetable first so I'm going to put in the papaya because these are you know papaya do help um, with cooking it allow the thing the, the whatever you're cooking to cook quickly they cook in meat they say to put some papaya in it and papaya will help to cook the the meat um, as quickly as possible I don't know how true that that is but so I'm going to be putting in the pumpkin and the papaya Then I'm going to be putting in the, um, the okra, the um, table squash, and the eggplant. I'm going to allow these stuff to cook first before I put in the more soft, uh, soft uh, you know, vegetables like the spinach and the, the Chinese cabbage because those um, tend to cook. Um, very easily and change color so we want to try and keep the the green you know the green from those things um still in the in the when it's cooked already to, um totally cooked so we're going to put them in last so i'm going to just put in now the all the seasoning on top of it all the onions what i have here is i have um seasoned pepper thyme onions um green pepper um, celery and celery leaves so I have the, the, the celery sticks and I have the celery leaves and I cut all of them I'm just gonna put them in the pot and I'm going to cover the pot and allow it to cook now all these vegetables are going to spring water so that's the reason why I don't put too much water in it the vegetables gonna especially when you put in the spinach it's gonna spring water you don't want to we're not making callaloo we're doing callaloo is a more lighter thinner um, soup, uh, but um, pepper pots are supposed to be a much thicker um, soup. soup. <laughs> okay. Um, what we have here, we are going to make some dumplings for the pepper pot. Um, in Antigua, as you know, when we make our pepper pot, we put um, little dumplings. We either roll them in balls or we roll them. Um, they look like a little bread in the pepper pot. So we're going to add. Um, some cornmeal into the dumpling so we're going to do as you know how i've shown you how we do how i do my white dumpling it's basically the same thing i have here one and a half um cups of flour um two tablespoons of butter and then i'm going to add three a quarter cup of cornmeal so i'm you know rubbing the flour into the butter so it looks like um, breadcrumbs or sand now this is dumpling is not the only thing that we eat pepper pot with uh, we, people tend to prefer a ball of fungi as they call it so it's either fungi or the dumpling in the pepper pot but we're not doing any fungi today we're just 
going to use the dumpling. So now that it is already mixed into the, the butter is mixed into the flour, we're going to add the cornmeal and then we're going to just mix it together and we're going to mix in the water a little bit. Then you're going to pour a little bit of water and then you're going to mix it in. Put some more water and mix it in. You can add less cornmeal if that's your desire, that's what you want. right now the spinach and the, the two types of spinach and the shiny cabbage so we're gonna add them right now now you're gonna you have to might have to put in some allow them to boil down and then add again but this is going to oops it's gonna so we're gonna forget to press them down it's a lot but they're going to, once the heat hits the spinach, it's going to go down to nothing. So we're going to cover up this and we're going to allow this to boil out a bit. It's about um, a little two minutes and then we're going to add the other. Okay, so, so if you can look at the vegetables, you notice that they, you know, they, they look they're, they're cooked. They're cooked. So what we're going to do is that we're going to we're going to um, add two vegetable cubes to this. So I'm going to put in one. Two. So I'm going to stir the pot. It will melt away. It will even melt away. If I continue to stir, stir this third part, the vegetable continue to fall apart because they have to throw and throw. Okay, so if you continue to stir the pot, so realizing that this is going to take a lot of stirring for all of it to. Um, crush and become like the cup of that it's supposed to be. Turn it down a notch, turn down the stove a notch and so I'm going to use the the um, masher that we use in mashed potato uh, and we're going to crush the vegetables. I'm going to use this because it can it works the same. So I'm going to just go in crushing, crushing the vegetables. Let me get a pot. So I'm holding the pot. Sorry. And I'm crushing. We're working all around it. the pot. 
Okay, I'm going to have to cut these. Alright, let this fall out. Okay, so you can do one or two things. I normally just boil my um, dumpling in the pepper pot before I squash it. Because I have so much, it's, it's a much larger pot than I'm not, I normally do. I am going to boil it in the, I just took out the, the um, pressure cooker cover, rock it off, took it out. I have in here the chicken, I've added chicken and I've added the um, turkey. So what I'm going to do, I turn it on to boil and I'm going to boil the dumpling in, in the pot with the stuff. It'll boil faster and it will... To ensure that it, you know, it's cooked thoroughly, then you know, put it in the pot with the, the stuff. So I'm going to take off a piece of dumpling. You know, we normally just, you know, do like this. Roll them, put them in. Roll them, put them in. Roll them, put them in. We can make different type of shape if we wish. We can make it round, or we can make it round round and then flatten it it's up to us it's whatever we want so this is the easiest way let me just get some more flour with my hand and this is how we do it if you notice i already crush crush it this is what it is this is already the pepper pot minus the meat and the dumpling so I'm going to go ahead and season it with some black, black pepper, some black pepper. <laughs> this dash in it. Okay. okay. I don't want to put any salt in it as yet because of the um, pickled meats. When I put the pickled meat in, I don't know how salt is going to be. So once, about five minutes, and then I will add the pickled meat. Mm -hmm. So the last thing I'm going to put in this before I um, I put in the meat is some butter. Okay, normally put garlic butter. Some people um, put in um, mellow cream. Yeah, but I normally put in garlic butter, but Garlic butter is kissed right now. So, yeah. So I'm putting some butter and then I'm going to transfer the meat. Oh, don't give up on your dream and hold on to the vision. I know no one but God knows the pain that you're feeling. You've got a burning desire, so you keep on blazing your fire. Your passion and faith's gonna take you through. Don't give up, sometimes you might lose But you never stop All your scars are reminding you Let your blood and your tears then boost you up So like Jacob, don't let go You just know you gonna see what your pain was for And I want to remember Everything took time, you know I need to waste all the nutrients, so I'll just throw a little bit in here. Gonna, yeah. Okay. So, taste again, make sure that it's salt. Okay. So, you may be wondering why I'm going to do all this food now that I cook it and we don't eat it. Okay, so I'll let you know what we're doing to it in a few minutes. Okay, so, as we told you guys before, we don't 
actually eat pork and a lot of different things that we put into the pepper pot then decided we definitely wanted to make it for you guys so you could see how to make it so what we're gonna do we decided to make this a charitable effort and we're going to go ahead and distribute what we've made throughout um, our community to those who are unfortunate right mm. or homeless homeless yes. yeah or homeless so this is one of our give back to the community okay efforts that we all we co are committed to do almost every year hopefully we can do it more than once a year yes that we can just give back for those who are in need yes so what we have here if you notice so we're packaging it, um the pepper pot out and what we're going to do we're going to go through we're going to start from Opam road because there's some people that would be um maybe on the side of the road and we could give them a cup of uh, pepper pot make sure we give them a bottle of water and a box of juice and a piece of bread pudding as dessert and so that's all we're going to do so we'll be packaging um out the food right now and in a few minutes we'll be going down the road to do the distribution and we are also going to videotape it so y'all can yes. see our work in action so please stay tuned for is this Benjamin kitchen i'm not sure this, this is benjamin okay, okay. i'm in his kitchen antigua's kitchen sorry oh yeah so, uh, kitchen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a name, but okay. So we just we so put both names together. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so in this video, this is, th this is going to be a joint effort from the Benjamin sisters and also the Antiguan Kitchen. Yeah. So this is the end of Antiguan Kitchen, but the video for our. Um, give back to give back Benjamin to the cop. Benjamin sisters. Benjamin sisters. Give back to the community. Will be a video right after this one. So please stay tuned and go ahead and subscribe, yeah. like, like, comment, comment, tell us, share, tell us, and if, stay positive. Yeah, <laughs> and keep your requests coming. Um, yeah, we want like to know what you want. Other to things, see us other make. dishes you want us to make. You know, the chef. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, well, technically, technically yeah. Yeah. she's the yeah. cook. The cook. Well, you know, yeah. put your work to action. And thank you for watching.